On behalf of Missouri State Parks, I'd like to welcome you to the Nathan and Olive Boone Homestead State Historic Site. My name is Mike Musikers. I'm the superintendent here at the Homestead, and I'd like to thank you for joining us for our annual public meeting. Today, we're in the 1837 Boone Home that serves as the centerpiece of the stories that we preserve and interpret here at the Homestead. It helps us tell the story of not only the Boones, but the generations of families that called this place home. The homestead also serves as a reminder of the nearly 70 year quest by Missouri citizen historians to preserve one of the last places where you can experience life on the edge of what was once Missouri's frontier. This past year, we welcomed visitors to join us as we explored the life and customs of the 19th century. In October, visitors joined us for our historical haunts program set under the open sky, illuminated by campfire and candlelight. We ended the evening with a lantern lit tour of our two historic cemeteries. Our monthly virtual coffee talk series kicked off in November, and now you can join us the third Friday of every month on our Facebook page as we explore the world the Boons called home. In December, visitors were able to join us at our largest event of the year as we explored traditions of Christmas past at our Ozark Christmas Traditions event. As night fell on the homestead, the coolness of the winter's evening could be felt and the scent of fresh and cooked wassail filled the air of the Boone home. To cap off a great year of programming, Site Assistant Superintendent Melissa Blank received Missouri State Parks Outstanding Interpretive Program Award for her, her historic chocolate making program. This year, we also continue to work on the management of our natural resources. This past winter, our region and statewide construction crews worked to remove problematic honey locust trees across more than 100 acres of the eastern extent of the historic site. Standing on the porch of the Boone home, you can see the difference this work has made in restoring the historic view. We're excited to continue this work in the future as we work to further restore the historic landscape. The most significant project we've embarked on this year has been to better understand and bring to life the stories of the individuals who were enslaved here at the Boone Homestead. With assistance from our Cultural Resource Management Program and our colleagues from the Department of Natural Resources Environmental Emergency Response Section, we completed a ground-penetrating radar survey of the site's historic cemeteries and possible location of the enslaved quarters. We're excited to be able to share the results of that work soon. Looking ahead to the coming months, we're excited to be hosting a volunteer informational meeting May 14th at 1.30 hit our site's shelter for anyone interested in volunteering for our Living History programs. On June 25th and 26th, the historic site will be hosting the Missouri State Museum's Thomas Hart Benton Traveling Mural. Our ever popular historical haunts program will take place this year on October 29th, and our program will conclude on December 10th with our largest event of the year, Ozark Christmas Traditions. This year we will be celebrating 100 years of Christmas representing the decades of 1840 to 1940. Thank you for joining us today for our virtual public meeting presentation. Please feel free to share this video with your family and friends, and as always, we welcome your feedback. This video will be posted through the end of the month. If you have questions, you can reach out to the site office at 417-751-3266, or you can email us at Nathan Boone State Historic Site at dnr.mo.gov. You may also use the comment section below to provide feedback for the operations here at the Nathan and Olive Boone Homestead State Historic Site. If you have other questions or comments, you can email moparks at dnr.mo.gov. Our site contact information is also listed in the this video's description for your convenience. Thanks to the citizens of Missouri, our state parks and historic sites are supported by half of one-tenth of one percent of the parks, soils, and water sales tax. This sales tax allows free access to Missouri's 92 state parks and historic sites. And remember, you're always welcome in Missouri State Parks.